B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Manet paid an official visit to Malaysia on February 27, 2024, during which he engaged in several bilateral meetings, including with Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim, and also attended the 2024 Cambodia-Malaysia Business Forum. We had a chance to catch up with Okhnia Tan Kimeng, President of the Malaysian Business Chamber of Cambodia, who had been part of the delegation accompanying Prime Minister Hun Manet on his trip to Malaysia and played a key role in organizing the leaders' attendance of the Cambodia-Malaysia Business Forum. He shared some key takeaways from the event. This trip, I will, can label it as a very successful trip. The Prime Minister attended, of course, official function, and after he completed all his official function, even though he's so tight, he was on just a one-day trip, uh, all in is 11 hours. So he still make his time to host and also precise and give his key keynote remark on the very important uh, business forum in Malaysia. I can label this as the own, this is the first and historical business forum that uh, Malaysian uh, uh, chamber or businessman hosts in Kuala Lumpur, presided by a Prime Minister of Cambodia. So it's a historical and landmark. But everything is come back to the, we call that we have the Prime Minister that who is so dedicated and so hardworking. Uh, this event, in fact, uh, we co-organized with Cambodia Chamber of Commerce and also we appreciate of the opportunity that we can join hand with them to host the Cambodian Prime Minister in our host uh, home country. So that's important milestone that we achieved during this forum because we bring together the important stake player, uh, Cambodian Chamber of Commerce being the National Chamber of Cambodia and also National Chamber of Commerce and Industry of Malaysia. They are the largest and official chamber that represent the whole business and also the whole uh, factory and investor and also industry in Malaysia. And also, of course, Malaysian Business Chamber of Cambodia. We are the one that are already here for 30 years. So we, we, we exchange MOU, we sign and exchange business by the Prime Minister. This is the very significant and iconic because we believe that we want to do a matching directly between the chamber. Yeah, of course, as you can see from the press, so the two leaders of the country have agreed on certain very uh, important, uh, we call the area, and especially I just talked about what they agree first, and they all agree to to go into the, we call, uh, deepen their collaboration into the three key areas. Number one, of course, is being HALA, HALA production and HALA ecosystem. I think that is the one that Cambodia can uh, leverage on the strength of Malaysia uh, being one of the best HALA production producer in the world. So to leverage on into deepens the HALA in ecosystem. They are, the number two, they are talking about the, we call the uh, TWET. TWET stands for uh, uh, the training for the technical, vocational and education training. So this is one of the key elements that Malaysia can share their expertise because Malaysia have thousands of TWET institutions and also most of them public uh, institutions and they in fact can assist and also cooperate with the Ministry of Labour and Vocational Training of Cambodia. If any, for example, any HALA factory, uh, HALA food production factory in Malaysia like to invest in Cambodia, they can even start with some of the upper stream or middle stream here and all the labor force that they recruit for Cambodian, they can even do a temporary common to Malaysia to learn, we call the higher skill sets of how to improve. And also not only on the HALA production itself, it's also on the, we call the factory automations. So that is the one can maximize the output by, by also, then also in a way that can level up the skill of the workforce with being, uh, we call the operator of all the uh, we call the automated uh, factory. What Cambodia can offer, of course, I also mentioned in my speech that, uh, of course, uh, Cambodia have evolved and uh, what Cambodia have is the openness of the whole system itself. I think Cambodia is only one country in the whole Mekong region that can allow 100% ownership uh, when you set up the business here and even in the key area like banking, insurance, uh, uh, telecommunication, that is none of the other country in the whole Mekong region. So this is already tell you the, we call the openness and also the policy I emphasized in the meeting is the 
the the government of Cambodia, uh, they are so approachable and they are so fast and react to what you need. Of course, one of the very important I mentioned is the government working group mechanism. So this is the only country that the Prime Minister meeting with the private sector, with the whole cabinets once a year to immediately solve their issue. So that is the one that in fact is an eyes opening to all the Malaysian businessmen.